Who is? Good morning, everyone. It's Valentine's workout time. Time to wake up, put the coffee cup down. I've got some roses here for you on this lovely Valentine's Day. So, I'm going to give you guys a couple of moments to wake up, get your mat out. I want to make sure that you have a nice, clear space around you. You don't have a water bottle to, bottle to kick over, and you don't have a pet that's going to be in the middle of your workout. So make sure your space is nice and clear, and we'll get started here in a moment. My name is Michelle. I'm with CoLab Fitness, and I like to collaborate. I like to work together with people. But um, we're taking a two-week break from our regular program right now for winter break. And uh, typically we meet at Redmond Ridge Community Center at 6 a.m. But uh, we're not meeting today, so everyone was missing it, and I was missing everyone. So I thought, okay, let's just do a Valentine's Day workout live on Facebook. And it's our first try. So we're going to get started in about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, making sure that people are logging in and you're all set up. So make sure you have water nearby, something that you can sip on while we work out, and um, a nice mat. If you plan on jumping today or doing any type of impact, I want you to put some shoes on, lace them up, no untied shoes. I want safety in your living room or your bedroom or your basement or your garage, wherever you are. Uh, you could be in a different part of the world. Maybe you're on top of a roof doing this. So I encourage you to get ready. We're gonna have fun. And I'm gonna set these beautiful roses aside that my husband gave me. So happy Valentine's Day and let's get started. You guys ready? I know you are. I don't know if anyone's logged in. Are you able to see? I'm gonna take a moment just to make sure. I've got one. Okay, that's great. So double tap the heart or the smile or the thumbs up just to let us know you're here. And if you have questions along the way, we are going to stop and uh, in the middle of the workout. Asha. And Asha, you're here. Okay, make sure you have a nice clear space. A mat, shoes on if you intend to jump. If you don't wanna jump, then you can work out in your bare feet. So let's begin. We're gonna start with a nice squat here. So I want to make sure that you're positioning your postures right. I cannot see you, so you have to make sure that you're nice and safe. So shoulders are rolled back and down. You have a nice neutral spine. Your tailbone isn't over sticking out or under tucked, just nice and neutral here. You can even feel your hip bones. And we'll start with some squats. So sitting down and back, I like to put my weight slightly in the heels while I'm still using my full foot. So scoot those buns back making sure you're sticking your booty out with over, without overarching. So lifting up, we'll go for about five more. Are you with me? Are you squatting? You don't have to respond because you'll be busy squatting. That's right, maybe two more. Excellent, okay, come to standing. Come to the back of your mat and we're gonna do an inchworm. So you will hinge from the hips, nice flat back here. Put one hand down, the other hand down. If you need to bend your knees, go for it. Crawl out, hold a plank, so that means your body is in a nice straight line, and coming back and rising up. So try that again, hinging from the hips, opening up your back, your hamstrings, waking up your core, and crawl back. Again, if you need to bend the knee to get your hands down close to the mat, go for it. It is early on Valentine's Day, so our hamstrings need a moment. Now, if you want to add on, you crawl out, add a push-up, and then crawl back, minding your hips. We're gonna go for five more. Are you guys ready? Hinge from the hips, crawl out, back is flat, no dropping of the hips as you do a push-up. Four more, crawling out, add that push-up. If you want, you can modify, come down to the knees, then lift up. Here we go. Push up. Trying to keep steady hips. Two more. It's a nice long warm up we have today. Waking up the chest. Last one. All right, here we go. Come on down. Crawling out. 
nice firm torso as you perform that. Okay, now we're gonna do side to side lunges. So think about the center as your home base. You'll shoot your foot out to one side, looking forward, chest is open, not curling or rounding, but nice and lifted, coming together, then the other side. Down and lift, side to side lunges. So think about your spine again, it's nice and neutral. And if you wanna add some arm swings, lift up and center, swing down to the side. Down and lift. Building up some heat now. Think about your belly drawing in. We're gonna do four more. Making sure that knee is close to being over the ankle. Last one here. Beautiful, how you feeling? All right, that good, right? Arm circles, let's keep moving. Circle forward. Again, not letting your arms move you, but you have a nice strong trunk. And arm circles backwards. Beautiful. Keep going. And three, two, and hold. Hinge from your hips. You can bend your knees here. Grab, sorry, let's start over. Feet hips distance apart. Sitting down, arms on the inside of your knees. Lifting up, straightening your leg and then bending again. Looks like this from the side. So just begin to bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. I'm gonna get you stretchy, Asha. Sangeeta here too. Hello, Sangeeta, welcome. And Jennifer. Oh good, hi Jennifer. Welcome, welcome. Look at us, working out together. Bend and straighten, drop the hips down, and one more. And slowly stand up. Let's start now with a backward stepping lunge. So we'll start here. You're going to lift up, or sorry, left leg back, left arm raises, and then you'll look down, twisting over your left leg. So I'll say that again. Right arm up, right leg back, <laughs> and twist. So we'll switch sides now. And we're gonna make this a continuous movement here. So what I'm looking for is opening up your hip flexors. As you lift up, you'll feel the stretch in the front body. Getting nice and warm here. Finding steadiness. Two more. Excellent work. Standing cat cow, bring your hands to your thighs, round the back as you exhale, and then lift the chest up, inhale. Round and lift. As you round your back, contract your abdominal muscles right here, and then I give you permission for a moment to stick that tailbone up. Drop the head down, lift up. Three more. Two more. Last one here. Excellent. Come on down to the mat. Bring your knees down. Final movement for our warm up. So we're going to do a downward facing dog to a plank. If you have wrist issues, go ahead and come on down to your forearms and lift up with your hips to a forearm plank. You might have to readjust your positioning here. So think of it as a baby dolphin to a forearm plank, or if you're in high plank on your hands, lifting up and coming forward. Give me 10 right here. Three, four, press the heels down and then come to toes. Six, nice flat back. Seven, think about engaging the whole front torso. Eight, Nine, last one, all right. Bring your heels together, bring yourself back, shifting back into child pose. Knees separate, press your hands into the mat, forearms lift up, and let's begin. You guys ready? 
So we have a bit of fun today. We're going to do some coach calls. Coach calls mean you're going to listen to my go or my start or my whatever it is, a cue, and you'll begin a movement. So for our first coach call, we'll be in forearm plank or high plank, whatever your comfort level is. When I say plank, I want you to imagine your body is a stick. So if you're up here on your toes, your booty is not in the air. It's actually lined up with your shoulders, with your ankles, nice long line. Also, if you're on your toes, same business. You're not up here, you're shifting forward. And then you're not rounding down either. All right, so here's our coach call. Come down to a forearm plank. When I say right, you're gonna tap your right hand out and bring it back quickly. When I say left, same business. All right, so get into your plank. We'll begin in three, two, right, right tap, left tap, left tap, right tap, left tap. All right, you guys got it? Right tap, right tap. Trying not to lean, left tap, left. Try it again, left, right. Woo, I'm leaning, left. Almost there, right, left, and last one. Which one will it be? Left. All right, come on down. Shift back into child's pose. Take a moment's rest right here. Okay, same type of thing, but swing yourself around. We'll do this with bridge now, with the bridge walk. So coming to seated position, rolling down with control, your head, neck, shoulder, all relaxed. Draw your belly in. Pushing up, heels underneath knees. I'll say right walk. You'll walk, leading with the right foot. I'll say left walk. You'll walk out, out, in, in with the left foot. Again, bringing that foot out, heel digs in, toe lifts up into a long bridge and back together. All right, let's begin. Hips up, nice and strong through the glutes. Right walk. Left walk, right walk, left walk, right walk, right walk, left walk, left walk, left walk. Getting those loose and hamstrings, right walk. Come on, right, left. Left, almost there. Left, right, right, and right. Last one. And bring it down. Hug those knees into the chest. If your chin is sticking up, tuck your chin down. That helps to stretch out your back and relieve tension in your shoulders. One more breath here and come to a seated position. We're gonna begin with a circuit here. So I would like for you to take your mat right now and roll it up. We're gonna use it as a prop. So grab your mat and roll. So this is where you have a choice to do impact work or not impact work. If you are impacting, hi Betty, good morning. You're impacting, I want you to make sure you have shoes on. Impact means jumping and landing. When you jump and land, I always want to make sure you land with bent knees so you're not jarring when you land, all right? So our first move today will be a jump or a step with a 180 degree turn. You're gonna use your mat as something to leap over. So here's your first move. Jump and turn, just like that. You can even challenge yourself turning in opposite directions. All right, here we go. I'm gonna time this because it keeps me honest. We're gonna go for a minute. Here's your option. Step, squat, turn. Step, squat, turn. Okay, two options. I'll probably do both throughout. So here we go. iPad will play. I'm sorry, Brett. Oh, thank you. Okay. Let's begin. Leap over. Twist. Landing 
soft, knees bent. All right, so we have a longer period of time here. So I wanna make sure if you're feeling an impact, you are squatting. So step over, squat. You can add another squat if you want. You're doing some crazy squats. Keep going. So that was halfway. We're going for another 30 seconds. Think about the landing and twisting quickly. Use that mat. Jump over. 10 seconds. I think I'm cheating and I'm bringing my feet around. <laughs> Lift up. And hold. Bring your breath back. Cross one leg over the other and stretch out your hip. Number four, stretch. If this is too much, balancing, grab a wall or something safe and stretch right here. So keep that stretch. Sitting your hips back. This foot is flexed. And other leg, let's stretch. Heart rate's coming down as we do a nice hip opener. Good. Hope you're feeling it right here. Shoulder should be back. Everything's relaxed up here. <sighs> Woo! My balance. Hold. Draw the belly in. Four seconds. Excellent. All right, moving on. We have a skater with a hop touch. So I'm gonna use my mat again as a prop. I'm gonna leap to one side, balance on that foot, control with my core, the stopping part. Coming down, touching the floor, opposite hand, coming back up, and touching down, just like that. So it's a hop outside my mat, and let's go now. Here's the work phase. So you can go as fast as you want, or as slow as you want. If you're finding yourself a little too wobbly, bring that back foot down as you touch down, just like this. So guide yourself. Down and lift. Hop, down and lift. With control. So, oops, keep going. All right, 30 more seconds. Begin to add a little bit more speed here. Skater touch. Your choice, you can go crazy, you can be fast, or you can make it more of a strength building, balance building by slowing down. Eight seconds, almost there, stay moving, okay? And hold, awesome. Downward facing dog, just for a moment. Stretching out, letting your heart rate come back. Breathing in, press through the heels. You can always drop down to forearms if your wrists are over it, right? All right, step your hands and feet together. Hold your foot for a moment, hold your foot, and then come on up. Ooh, I'm getting sweaty, this is a good thing. All right, we have a backwards lunge, so I want you to make sure your mat's out of the way, because we're gonna start moving here. Ah. All right, same leg, 30 seconds, backwards stepping lunge. Let's begin right now. So I'm gonna lay, raise my arm up and stick with that same leg. If you wanna get sassy, bring the knee up. So it's a big stretch as you drop in. Okay, I'll show you a side position, you keep moving. Down, raise the knee. Down, twisting slightly. See how my knee is almost there. Switch your leg, don't stop. Switch your leg now. Might take you a moment to reset. Good, come on. Down, lift. 
I'm almost touching my opposite leg. My knee is almost to the ground. I actually did touch the ground. Good, getting a good hamstring workout here. Heart rate and a stretch. Ah! There are my balance. Good, give yourself a nice leg hug here, sorry. Pull your leg in and hug it. Roll the shoulders back, hold it for a few. Okay, bring that same leg back. Give yourself a nice quad stretch here. Heel to the glute. And other leg, now lift it up, hug it in. Think about standing super tall, like there's a string pulling your head up, but you wanna gaze forward, top of your head to the sky. And now, pull it back with the foot. Knee is pointed down, shoulders are back, finding that balance, whole foot on the floor. All right guys, let's keep going. We have something called a fast touch with a squat. So we'll stay in a squat position and we're gonna to touch the floor crisscrossing. When I say hold, arms lifted, hold a squat. All right, you guys ready? It's a coach call. I'm gonna get my timer going. Actually, I'm gonna stop for a second. Let me see if anyone's there. Sorry, time out. You guys ready? Any comments, any questions? I'm gonna look at my laptop. Good, all right, I don't see any comments. So let's keep going. Come back into that squat, right here, and touch. So touching opposite foot. So you want your chest lifted without overextending your neck. So sink your hips down and touch. Draw the belly in. Okay, in 10 seconds, I'm gonna start coach calling, so keep tapping. Tap. Keep going, tap, and hold a squat. Tap. Hold. Bring the arms up. Squat. Tap. And hold. Tap. Look at you, getting stronger. And hold. Tap. Tap, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Three, two, one. Oh, leg time. Awesome. All right. Up next, I want you to imagine we have a ladder on the floor. Just a bunch of individual holes that we're going to use to run through. So your first movement will be fast feet, as if you're running through a ladder. Go about four or five runs forward, and then four or five runs backward. Getting ready in three, two, one. Begin, run forward, run backwards. If this is a bit much, I want you to march forward and back. Stay on the balls of your toe if you're running forward and back. Think about thumbs to shoulders, thumbs to hips. Use that core. Stay in control of your body here. Almost there. Three, two, and hold. Good, now we're gonna use our ladder as if it is parallel with your screen. And we're going to do a tap to the side. It's like a tap shuffle and back. You guys ready? Stay light on your toes. You can also just tap forward and not at the hop. Let's begin in three, two, side to side taps. So imagine your toe is touching the inside of a ladder. And go. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Side taps, light on the toes. Lift it through the chest. Go a little bit quicker here. Eight seconds, come on. Three, two, and very good, all right. We have out and ins. Now you're 
pretend ladder is perpendicular again with the screen. We're going to go in, in, out, out. Just like that. You can also step in and out or hop in and out. Three choices, all right? And three, two, one. Out, ins. You want arms overhead. Or out, out, in, in. Your choice. Knee is bent. Back is long and straight. Keep moving. 10 seconds. Find your choice here. Out, out, in, in. Stay moving to the end. Three seconds, two, and hold. Raise your arms up. Twist to one side and hold the twist. Okay, come center, twist to the other side. Excellent, let's do a little bit of balance work and then we'll get into some more heart rate. Lift your hands up. I'll do it from the side first. We're gonna bring our body into a nice T. Down and hold, and then up, same way. So nice and balanced here, getting the hamstring again. Let's begin the T move, and go. Nice long body here, lifting the foot up, and then coming back. Coming down, arms extended. That's too much. Hands to hips. Trying to leave that foot entirely on the floor. We're going for 30 seconds each leg, so stay on this leg. Make sure your hip doesn't open up. And switch your leg, go right into it. Switch that leg. I have to get my balance here. Good. Try not to let your arms go past your ears. Boy, my right side today, come on. There we go. Staying focused, it helps to just look at one spot on the floor as you move. Yeesh. Excellent. All right, here we go. Come down again, fingers tips to the floor. Bring that foot out and in, and begin. Out and in, taps. So squatting down in one leg, tapping the other foot in and out. Eye gaze is to the floor, but ahead. So lifting up through the body, through the stomach. Stay there, switch your leg. Start in that squat and go. Tap back and forward. Tap. Staying strong, come on. Hips down. Strong legs, strong minds. Here we go. Stay there, almost there. Seven seconds, you got this, that's all. We got this. And come up, do a quick runner stretch. Come into a nice long lunge here. Back leg is straight, hands come to the inside of the front leg. Tap your knee down, tap it back. Down, push your heel back. How are you guys doing? I hope your heart rate is getting up. And bring the knee back. Bring the other leg forward. So hands are on the inside of that other front leg now. Tap the knee down and back. Okay, this is not a passive thing for your muscles. So I want to make sure you're drawing up and in here. Your whole hand can be on the floor. Spreading your fingers wide. Asking so much right now from your hips. Keeping them open and supple. So we can perform all these moves. Excellent job. All right, down into child's pose. For this next sequence, you'll need your mat open. So open up that mat. I'm gonna show you two moves. It's a walking plank a lateral walking plank, side to side. So spread your mat out. I bring our mat into this in case you want to walk on your forearms. 
So let me show you the full expression here. You'll come to the side, moving hand and leg. It is slipper back here, that's crazy. Side to side movement. Okay, if you don't want to be on your wrist, come down here to your form and walk. And walk. If you're on your knees, same business. For me, it's helpful to slide my knees because it's so darn slippery back here. So let's begin our walking planks. Let's go side to side. One and two. Make sure that your hips are nice and strong and low enough. So you're not inverting. It's not a walking down dog. Think about moving opposite foot and hand real quick. Five more seconds. Hold your plank. Shift back into down dog or dolphin. Lift one leg up and hold. Hips are square to the mat. Now bring yourself forward. As you do, bring the knee to the outside of the arm and swing back. If you want, come down to knee and bring it in. And lifting. That is your option. Otherwise, come up, lift the leg. Knee to tricep. We're just working on the outside oblique first. Moving that leg to the outside. Two more. I hope you're with me. Last one here. And hold your plank. Okay, shifting back into down dog again. Lifting the other leg up and coming forward. Same movement over and over. Keep moving. Lifting nice and long. Bring that knee a little bit higher if you can. Two more. One more. Excellent. Let's get some back work going, okay? So give your wrists a break. Sitting back on your heels. Bringing the tops of the hand to the mat. Roll the shoulders back. And we are simply just stretching our wrists right now the other way. That's all it is. Now roll those wrists out. And let's get into some back work, all right? Before we do, I want to work on our flexibility of our shoulders. So one hand comes back. You're trying to get it in between your shoulder blades. If this is as far as it goes, good for you. If this is as far as it goes, if it goes even further up, that's great. Stretching right here. Now, lifting the other arm up, dropping it back, and holding. If you can, clasp the fingers together. If not, just let them rest. Don't even bother with the strap. Just let it sit. And one more breath here. And other side. As I'm standing here on my knees, I'm activating my whole, all the muscles around my pelvis. This tends to be a big, huge problem for people. And I'm not talking aesthetically, I'm talking about lower back issues, hips doing what they want, feeling misaligned. So today I'm really wanting to strengthen here as we do other movements. If you're staying strong from your hips to your lower ribs and everywhere in between, bring that other hand back. So you can think about pelvic floor activation as you exercise. You can think about really strong stability in your pelvis. Good, all right, back work time. So we have a bird dog. Come to hands and knees, lift up one leg and opposite arm and hold, and bring it down. It's a traditional bird dog is what we're starting with. Now we do this a lot in class, and it really challenges your core, starts to wake your back up, your glutes up, keeping you nice and stable. If this is too much, you're finding instability, leave that back leg on the floor. And just do a nice bird dog. Two more. Drawing up through the belly, nice long neck. 
last one. Now we're gonna take it up a notch, okay? So coming to plank, let's do round the world with our limbs. Right arm lifts, bring it down, left arm up, down, right leg up, down, left leg up, and down. Try that again, round the world. Right, left, right, leg, left leg. Now switch it, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. Try that, left, right, left, right. Opposite arm and leg, try it. Nice and slow here, and bring it down. <laughs> try other sides. And bring it down, two more. One more, nice and balanced. And come down, shifting back into child pose right there. All right, 10 push-ups, let's go. Nice and strong here, on your own. One, two, wide or narrow, three, four. Back is straight, trying to get the chest elbow height. Eight, nine, one more, 10. Beautiful, coming back again. Ooh, those burns so good. All right, tricep, let's see our time, we're good. I'm gonna stop for a second, then we'll move on to triceps. I'm gonna look for feedback. Any comments, any people watching? I've got eight. I've got eight, awesome. It's about a 15 second delay, so we're getting... Oh, okay. 15 second delay, apparently. So, I need to slow my roll, and I'm stopping right now for your feedback. And maybe a quick water. Any questions about exercises or something you're feeling? We want to make sure you're feeling good as we work out. So water break. If you're feeling fine, maybe give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll keep going. You're watching it and all right, good. All right, tricep eccentric time. So often in yoga, um, you do the chaturanga where you come down push yourself up into upward facing dog. Well, we're gonna work on just the tricep portion of it. A traditional tricep push-up or a narrow push-up. Your elbows are going back. People call this a military push-up. I'll begin on my knees, shifting my hips forward, coming down, holding, and then pressing back up. Again, down and up. Imagine my elbows are breathing my feet. So let's start with 10 right here, knees or toes. Down, push yourself up. Inhale down, exhale up, or whatever your breath would like to do. I think we have five more. Four, one more. Excellent, come back, working the back of the arm. Now, tricep eccentric. What we'll do is come all the way down to the mat nice and slow. So lift up to a plank on your toes or on your knees, coming down nice and slow here and holding at the bottom. Okay, pick yourself back up again. Hold and now descend slow. Really keeping your hips nice and firm as you come down. Try it again. Up. Come up. Shift your weight forward slightly as you descend. Three more. Woo! <laughs> I feel it in the back of my arms. Two more. Come on. Join me, one more. Oh. And <laughs> shift back into child's pose. Let's stretch those arms out. All right, swimmer time. You guys ready to swim, right? Come down to your mat. Laying on your belly. Eye gazes down, 
So you have a nice long neck here. For now, stack your hands, lift up your thighs, and begin to flutter kick. Legs are straight, knee is not bent. Draw the belly button up and flutter. Think about your glutes firing up here. Your hamstrings. Almost there. In three, two, and relax. All right, extend those arms out now. Lift everything up and hold, and then bring everything down. Lift up again, hold, and down. Up and hold, come down. Up, down. Up, down. Now bring your thumbs up and down. Lift and lower. Get those thighs up off the mat. Lift up your chest. One more. Yay! All right, flutter now. Everything lifts up. Your palms can come back down. Flutter nice and long here. Neck is long. This is the final burnout. Come on. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, yeah. <laughs> Good. Come up to your knees. Bring one leg out. Half splits. In from your hips. Stretch your hamstring. That back work is good. Okay, stand up and bring the other leg forward. Pinch from the hips. And stretch that hamstring. Can you believe we're doing this Facebook Live? <laughs> All right, we did our back. We're gonna get to our core in a minute. I wanna do one final kick right here. <clears throat> it is a squat clap with an L arm, I'll show you. Squat, clap underneath, lift the arms up into an L, and then swing your arms around the other way, clap, lift up into an L. So I imagine like a figure eight, like I'm almost passing something through my legs. So let's start that. All right, I'm gonna get our timer because I could go on and on with that one. Three, two, squat clap, L arm. So coming up dynamically. For those of you who are training for your third triathlon, add a little elevation as you come down because you want more, right? Otherwise squat and float the arm. Come on requires a certain amount of coordination. Down and up. Stay with it. Stay there. That was just a halfway beep. Come on. We're going for a full minute in case you're wondering. 15 seconds. That's it. Come on. Jump. Three seconds. Oh, so good. You guys ready for some core? Me too. Let's take a quick break. Get to our front abdominal region. I'm looking for comments. Got some thumbs up and hearts. That's good. I'll take it. All right. Here we go. I'm going to use my little list here so I don't forget what I wanted to do. Coming down, either forearm, downward facing dog, like a mini dolphin or full downward facing dog. So if you're on your forearms, come up to your toes, lift your hips up nice and high. We'll begin with a nice toe touch here. 
So opposite toe, you're reaching with the opposite hand to opposite toe. Go ahead and begin. If you're on your hands, same business. Tap and tap. Tap and tap. Ten. Nine. That's right. You count. Push down through the heels. Whole hand on the mat. Lifting the hips. I believe it's three more. Two. And one. Come down to child's, sinking your hips back, and sweep those legs around. We'll begin with a nice boat pose here. So I want to make sure you're sitting nice and tall. I like to put my hands on my knees and push myself forward, opening up my chest. What tends to happen when we come back into boat or anything on our tailbones is we start to round the spine. What we're trying to do is train your back and front butt body to get stronger, to stabilize you throughout your day. So you're going to lift up and remain there in a nice neutral spine. So lift the hands forward. If you want, raise the feet up and hold the boat. Okay, you can lift the legs up higher if you want. Hold. Hold, lifting up the legs a little higher, straightening out more. Almost there. Now lower down slightly, not all the way. Slight, slight, slight. Hold the hollow rock right here. Hold. Shoulders lifting up off the mat, legs lifting up. Bring your toes to the left. Hold, leg twist. Bring your legs to the right. Just a slight twist of the ankle, toes to the right. In three, two, bring them center, and one. Woohoo! Good work. We're gonna do those leg twisting one more time here. So take a deep breath, lift everything up, staying strong through the front body, twist your legs to the left. Keep twisting, working the right oblique as you do the twist. Bring them center and other side. Twist to the right. Just the leg twisting, leaving the hip as much as possible on the mat. And bring it center and lower down. <laughs> oh, good. I love these moves. All right. Bring the knees in toward the chest and then extend your legs up. Bring your hands together in like a Charlie's angel position here. Bring your body across the right side, lifting up both shoulders, so your legs are up over hips, arms shooting off to the side. Now lower and lift up the opposite leg that is away from your arms. Bring it down, bring it up. Exhale up. You guys good? We're going for 10. Keep going. Six. I see you. Not really. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. 10. And take a quick break. Oh. All right, lift the legs up. Clasping the fingers together. Point your finger and thumb together. Lift up and twist to the other side now. Hold for a moment. Okay, try to keep that lower shoulder up. Lower and lifting opposite leg. Getting the abdominals, getting the deep muscles. Breathe as you go, please. Everything's nice and relaxed in your upper body, relaxing our face. Three more. to rock a little bit and come up and hold and then rock down again one two rolling like a ball three come up and hold three more one two three 
three. Last one. Sorry, one, <laughs> two, I was getting too excited. Three, cross your legs, bring yourself up to standing. <sighs> All right, stretch to one side. Okay, we'll finish with some oblique work here. For those Valentine's Day love handles, so standing nice and tall here, I'm gonna come to one side and bend up. Side bends, that's all it is, it's a side bend. If you want more, lift the hands up. Bend and go, two more. And other side, let's go, side bends. One, two, three, five, get the side of the body, six, keep going, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Kick and twist, hands behind the nape of the neck, Lift up one leg, twist toward that leg that is lifted, and come back to center. We do this one in Pop Pilates all the time. So it challenges your balance as well as your core. Lift the leg. Keep that rhythm going. Nice, long and lifted through the torso here. Other side, lift up, kick, twist, center, up, kick, twist, center. Three more. Don't worry, we're almost done. I think this is the last one. Yes, let's stretch. You guys did it, the workout, but we are not done. Let's stretch just for a minute, okay? Maybe a couple. So bring one foot forward, one foot back. We'll do pyramid. Clasp the hands behind the back. Open the chest with the flat back. Leaning forward and hold. Okay, and then breathe in. On your exhale, you can ground down. Toes should be pointed in the same direction. Good, breathe. So for our flexibility, I like to focus on holding our stretches, but also relaxing and inviting our muscles into a stretch. So we don't force our muscles to get flexible. You have to invite them. So come on up. It's a gentle invitation, right? Keep it nice and gentle. Open up the chest. Draw your belly in. Fold forward. Nice flat back first. Breathing in. And then exhale, coming all the way down and stretching back of the leg. Good, come on up, bring yourself down again. So we did this earlier, but now we're doing it on a bent knee. Lifting up the arm, same arm as the leg that is in back. leg back, shifting the other leg forward. I'm going to look away from you now. Twisting and pull. Okay, come down to seated. Cross your legs. Stretch those triceps. So hand in between the shoulder blades in the back. Stretch the other tricep. We'll do our half lotus, double pigeon, whatever you want to call this. Bringing one leg over thigh, keeping the shins relatively parallel, sitting nice and tall. You can also just have a regular cross-legged position here. And then drawing the arms down and stretching, folding over. Switch your legs. Bringing the other leg on top. 
chins parallel, folding forward. Come back up. There's never enough time. There's so many stretches I would love to do with you. But for now, we'll end with some hamstring stretching. And an opening of the chest, nice and twisting. Looking up to the sky. Trying to keep your hip bones, or your sits bones, the bones that you sit on, on the mat. And then other side. Twisting through the mid to upper back, looking to the sky. And final stretch here, legs extended forward, lift the arms up, and tight stretch. Whatever your hands land. Thank you guys so much for working out with CoLab Fitness. We meet in Redmond Ridge um, three to four mornings a week at 6 a.m. So if you're in the area, I would love to see you. Have a beautiful Valentine's Day. Look for more announcements. We might do more Facebook Live workouts. We'll see, depending on the response and all that. But give me your feedbacks in the comments section. And I will see you soon. Have a beautiful day.